Hey there guys, I am back and this time I'm going to be showing you Eugene's Ginger Clone ROM. Okay, uh, Ginger Clone is basically an Android 2.2 ROM that's been modified and themed to look a lot like Android 2.3, also known as Gingerbread. Um, in my last video I made a review of um, Team Whiskey's Nero ROM, Nero version 1. Uh, since then I flashed this Ginger Clone ROM and I must say it is pretty dang nice. Okay, I gotta... You gotta be serious about that. It's nice, and I'll explain why. And I'll make a lot of references regarding, you know, comparing it to Nero, so you can see the difference. So you can uh, help decide, help you decide, you know, which one's a better ROM, Nero or Ginger Clone. All right. So basically, this is a ROM for the T-Mobile Samsung Vibrant. Blah 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 blah. All right. So down to the goods now. Ginger Clone. The, the idea of Ginger Clone is to make it as stock of an Android experience as possible. Okay, so a lot of the bloatware has been removed, a lot of the extra features from TouchWiz and stuff that Team uh, Team Whiskey has added in their Neo ROM uh, is is not here. Like for instance, the the notification bar, you don't see the toggles up here, no toggles. So if you're a fan of that, you know, then and you can't live without it because it's such a big deal, then you don't want this ROM. This ROM doesn't have it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, the icons at the top are basically the same. We got the green tint going on everywhere, browser icon dialer, just like we did in Nero, uh, you know, resembling gingerbread as much as we can. Now, uh, let's see. Another thing that's really cool is, uh, like I said, a lot of the bloatware has been removed and a lot of the uh, Samsung TouchWiz um, apps have been replaced with the, uh, the stock Android uh, counter counterparts like uh, for instance messaging this we got stock Android messaging okay this is not touch with MMS SMS this is stock Android the contacts list okay um, now I'm not sure whether or not having this this blue tint right here means that it's touch with actually I'm pretty sure it it I you know what I don't know I'm confused because the icon looks like stock Android here but um, inside it actually looks like TouchWiz but whatever a lot of uh, a lot of the apps that he includes are indeed the uh, stock Android versions not the TouchWiz versions and let's see if I can point some of those out first of all battery left is an app that is included in the ROM it's really cool because it tells you um, you know how much time you have left before your battery dies uh, the amount you have left ETC it has this battery meter for you people who can't go with just numbers and need to visualize it well there's a bar uh, he comes he includes that let's see uh, the calendar yes the calendar app is indeed the stock Android calendar there you go stock Android calendar app this is not touch whiz some may like that some may not I don't care okay let's see the camera icon you know he replaced the icon itself with the you know stock Android icon but it is the uh, the uh, as you can see the touch whiz the touch whiz camera okay okay now I think a lot of people want to know if it takes a picture uh, if the power button has set to has been programmed to take pictures no it doesn't it just locks the phone that was a pretty cool feature from Nero I must say but you know it's okay a lot of things a lot of uh, other good things that outweigh that kind of stuff so all right, the alarm clock, stock, 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 stock. No touch whiz there. Let's see. Do 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 do. Na 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 na. Quadrant score. We'll talk about that later. Actually, we'll talk about that now. Running, running a stock uh, ROM with you know no extra kernels or anything. I get a quadrant score of 900 and uh, I don't know 33 somewhere in the 900s uh, but since then I have also installed Voodoo's lag fix and now let me tell you something okay if you've never tried Voodoo with any of your vibrant ROMs and you thought that your experience on the ROM was already fast well you need to flash Voodoo because it makes your phone like noticeably faster like I'm not serious. Like I said that in my last video about Nero version one being zippy and all that, but you know, honestly, after a while of using, like a couple of days of using the ROM, you know, sometimes their phone like it hangs up, like it lags. Like uh, you would like, let's uh, an example. You would wake up the phone, you would unlock the phone, you would like, let me, 
you would wake up the phone, unlock the phone, and everything would just be a blank. It would just be a blank screen. So you know, lag lag like that would occur in Nero version one, and um, it kind of happened here when I first flashed Ginger Clone, but not so much. And I think it may be due to uh, Eugene's Super IO uh, kernel. But even if that was an improvement, when I, once I installed Voodoo, this was just crazy, I mean, like I can just by sliding, I feel like it's faster, and the quadrant score proves it because once I installed Voodoo. The quadrant score was up to 1300. Uh, a lot of fanboys out there, you know, well, you know, numbers, quadrant scores don't mean anything. Well, it has to mean something because I saw a speed improvement. I saw a noticeably increase in in speed, and the number also went up in quadrant. So something must have happened. Okay, numbers don't lie that much. Let's see what else. It doesn't come with ROM Manager. You're going to have to install that yourself. Uh, that's not a big deal. Oh, and he replaced files. He replaced the um, the Samsung Files app with System Manager, which I guess is stock. I don't know. That's that. Okay, so there goes all the apps and stuff like that. What else to tell you? comes with five home screens. Uh, you can't change that number from what I know. Okay, can't do anything like that. Uh, you still have the animations like in Nero where everything just like flips up like that. Cool, cool. You uh, only have one lock screen, guys, and it comes with stock. It comes with the stock Android lock screen. Now, before you go crazy and start bombarding Eugene's post on XDA regarding the ROM and, you know, screaming at him at, to, at you want this, you want a battery mod, you want a segmented battery mod, you want toggles, you want swipe. You, oh, it doesn't come with swipe, so find it and install it yourself but anyways you know like remember the basis the idea of this ROM is to keep it a vanilla like it's trying to give you a vanilla experience it's trying to give you a pure Google experience as close to the Nexus S as possible so don't hassle him about that because he's just gonna tell you you're missing the point of the ROM trust me I've read a lot of reviews where he's or a lot of posts where he's answered people and tell them those exact words so okay uh, let's see anything else I can talk about Comparing it to Nero, guys, I think Nero, with all the extra stuff that it had, like, I don't know, there's just extra stuff. Um, it may have caused it to bog down a little bit after a while. Um, I don't know how Nero version 3 is. A lot of people are asking me if I can do a video on Nero version 3. Perhaps in the future, but right now I'm running this ROM as my stable ROM for now because it's really great. I like the uh, stock Android experience. It is wonderful. So... Well, if, you know, guys, if you like those little features like the toggle and stuff, you might want to go to Nero and try out Nero instead of this ROM. But if you want, like, you know, a stock Android experience, bloatware removed and all that, go with this ROM and definitely install Voodoo because that just makes it so much faster. Okay. Any other questions, let me know. And uh, uh, I will post in the description box down there uh, links on how to get this ROM on your phone and stuff like that so you don't have to ask me on how to do it. All right, all right, that is it for me. Peace out until the next video, until I flash another ROM, which is probably gonna be soon. I can't seem to stop flashing ROMs. Now I'm just rambling, so bye.